Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Got comments last episode asking for certain carpet colors for bedrooms, so we've got David and Bill and Kaya and Grandma that have requested a specific type of carpet, and uh, Kathra has requested to keep her smooth floors. She likes those. Um, what have I done since last episode? I want to say through the night. Actually, for me, it was last night. This is the end of my work day, trying to remember what I did late last night when I was goofing around in here. I did go through some of the conduit, the existing stuff, and mark for delete stuff that we don't really need anymore, and just started going through little details here and there and what have you. Got quite a few visitors to talk about, but um, got David in here to get most of this area smoothed out. So what has that done for us? We're now at a 1.3 beauty and probably going to be improving that yet. Um, right click. There we go. Not right click. That one. David, what you up to right now? You are hauling marble blocks to wall. Um, marble, marble, marble. So somewhere other than here, I'm guessing must be grabbing a statue on your way there. Oh, that's viewing art. Then you're moving marble blocks to... I don't know. Again, that was last night for me, and I've had a whole day's worth of work since then, and and uh, that was supposed to be that way. That is. Ah, we're supposed to be taking out this wall here and making that a smooth wall in there, too. Yeah, i got to get to that. Anyway, um, what else? Let me look down at my list here. Kaya was asking about Double Strand. Right there. We don't have it researched yet. Haven't researched it because it just wasn't all that important at the beginning. But now that things have calmed down a little bit, everyone's into their own bedrooms and, and uh, it's uh, um, not feeling so hectic and rushed. You know, we'll get the prison in next, but otherwise it's, it's feeling a little more calm. I'd say let's go ahead and get that one going. And I think I will I'll have to remind myself how long it takes to grow, but um, maybe pick a field the size of something like this, get a bunch of it in throughout this entire grow year. And then during the winter and from this point on, maybe take a, a section of a greenhouse and use that to keep topping things off as well as we have to get back into cotton growing because we're going to start using up most of our cotton in all of these carpets. So we're going to have to we're going to have to make up for that. So cotton is going to be a thing soon. What is it? It takes seven per. Seven times 36. Oh, boy, that hurts. Let me grab Mr. Calculator. Seven times six by six. Yeah, it looks like a six by six. So 252. So 250 per. So we've got enough to do four rooms, and we're out, including making medicine. So, yeah, we're going to have to get some cotton going here soon. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, where could it actually be? Um, could be in place of something. What would that be? And something that preferably... Hmm, it would, it would be a good outdoor thing, though. Let's set you up for cotton instead of strawberries. Ah, uh, cotton plant. No, that's corn. Try that again. Cotton... There you are. My mouse is hiding it. <laughs> cotton there, and we could do cotton here one round. That should be enough to, to re, uh, uh, replenish our supplies. So cotton, you're right in there. It's going to... You're turned on. No, let's get you back on again. We're at the first day of spring. So let's go ahead and get some of these going. It's not necessarily the first day of our grow season, but it's the first day of spring for the game. Uh, we still have two separate fields here. We do. Let's eliminate that. That was confusing last time. You go away and zone and grow. Click in here and then add to it. Take you to there, uh, down into there, into there, into there, and there. That's fine. That takes all the, the rich soil that was hiding in that area. I think we have... Are you rich soil there? You're kind of. All right. We'll get you into there. That doesn't work. Well, it does. Okay. Okay. All right, so that takes care of that. There's a little bit of it right there, too, but nah, that'll be fine. Um, so, double strand into something as soon as we research it. Something, you know, maybe even replace... Well, I want as much of the hay grass as I can get, too. I want to get more than the 9,000 we got last time. Let's see if we can't get 15 to 20,000 in storage. Not go through that again. Which means we may have to get out into here to do some more growing. That's possible. It would be nice to get Devil Strand, though, into a rich soil area. 
that needs to be dedicated. Maybe, maybe that's what actually goes into here. That might be. Um, hmm. Well, we'll leave that for now. If we get to the researching fast enough, then it will get done today. It's only 500 points. Um, otherwise, there was talk about the prison. Daniel and Kaya were chatting about this area here and what to do with it. So the issue is this cooler. How do we cool this area in a heat wave or just in the heat of summer? So we could get rid of the doors and just put a cooler here or here. That was my original thought. Does it leave us vulnerable? Pirates dropping into the base may make a run for this area as what they think is the easiest way to bust in. That's possible. We do have you know, the ability to, to fight from a corner like we do with the prisoners, um, we could quickly move our, our plasteel turrets into place and be ready to meet them. I mean, there's things we may be able to do in time. I don't know. Um, prison breaks, from my experience, you know, tend to be the doors unlock and they go for the nearest door. I don't think I've ever seen them actually take out a cooler to get out when there is a door to walk through instead and weapons beckoning them over here so as far as a prisoner busting his way out that may not be more any more of an issue than just me overthinking the, the whole concept it's really a matter of whether or not pirates drop potting in would use it to get in but if they're going to drop pot in, they're going to walk right in our front door anyway. So I don't know that that's truly an issue either. So I think for convenience sake, and we'll just roll the dice on the rest, we'll just uh, build a copy. Let's put you right, I guess right there. Well, I can't, be, I can't, okay. We'll get rid of you and we'll mark We'll get that built and we'll mark all the doors to go away because he doesn't transfer through doors very well. Kaya was asking about what's going on over here. Is this is this cooler dumping so much heat into this area that it's overheating? So right now we're actually at 69 degrees in here. So not that hot at all. It's just perfect. So with the doors that are propped open, this one, that one, that one, that one, we're doing a pretty good job of dissipating all the heat that has been you know trying to build up in here and through the night i got to realizing that we're chilling all of this room still and bust that open we're chilling all of this hallway all the way to here we're at 36 degrees dumping through that vent down here to 49 degrees dumping into here 59 degrees 56 degrees that's that's not good we got to get this sealed up i thought about leaving this at least temporarily and sticking a few more meals in here until all of this construction gets done because they're still going to spend a lot of time over here doing stuff and then needing to eat. And so, you know, they might hopefully get over to this one, but uh, they've been going for, you know, strawberries or whatever as well. But figured I'd just go ahead and stick a little double wooden wall in there and seal it up, and then we'll start whatever we're going to do with the rest of this later. Um, what else is going on? My notes... There was, well, two other things. Let's get to May May. Because Kaya brought up that May May doing gardening or growing outside at night, which she did some of this last night, is going to give her a uh, in the dark debuff, which I found is, you know, it, it was there and it was a negative three. So she will be May May character will be growing as a 13. So that'll be probably her primary function with eventually learning more construction and getting into doing some art doesn't do any fighting significantly so i think um growing is it which means growing needs to be during the day so let's go ahead and get that one done sleep for may may is there and there and anything is there next we need to figure out who may may is so let's erase that one and change May May to Manuela. Let's see, U-A-L-A. -A. So Manuela, welcome to the game. Manuela was Manuel in my um, Alpha 13 series and finally got uh, Manuel back in. But with a shortage of guys, Manuela, Manuel 
volunteer to be Manuela just to get back into the game, and that's fine. So, let's jump over there. You... <clears throat> cutting a poplar tree. Facing this way, aiming that way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, this one tree is in the way so that we can... Dumping stockpile. I wanted to get more of the stuff over to here. Now, did I get that right? Yeah. Slag pile. Okay. There was... I've while I was running it in between episodes, I found out that we were moving um, slag and everything else down to this one. It didn't get marked only for uh, marble. In fact, I didn't notice it until I found Mei Mei hauling or trying to get over to this dead rat to haul it into that uh, stock with a dump pile over there. That's when I realized I had a couple of dump piles that were marked improperly. So that's probably about the time I quit playing uh, last night. Just getting ready for today's episode. Of course, when I do that, I have to then remember all the little things that I did, like having David work in here, trying to get that cleaned up for, for Natalia. Um, is that it? Otherwise, things that happened in the night. Visitors from the Erathatna People's Federation are visiting Jump 2, and they're just kind of wandering through the map. Really what they are is an opportunity to kidnap them and make them our own and let's spend a little time thinking about that but first of all these guys showed up um a caravan from a court of minio has approached they are slavers they'll hang around for a couple days you can attack them but you'll anger their faction jump too so let's get klaus who worked all night long doing projects for me and just got to bed to get out here and do some talking to reindeer right there even though he's dead tired the mood is still maxed out so it should give us still the best um social score the best um prices per we'll see what uh, they will buy and sell for us otherwise um let's finish off with manuela first that's where i need to be let's get that one going so character manuela who are you and then we need to discuss whether or not we want to add a few more really quick and plunge the game into chaos. Manuela was, for childhood, or as a child, Manuela was addicted to reading. She, was, she would spend all day in her local library with her nose in a book. <clears throat> when budget cuts forced the library to close, Manuela was distraught. She decided to fill the gap by writing her own stories. So artistic plus four and intellectual plus three. Then as an adult, she became a gardener. On industrial worlds, wealth concentrates in the hands of those who own the factories and sell the goods. Manuela worked at the mansion of one such rich family, tending the lavish gardens as part of a team of servants, which gave her a growing plus eight. But it disabled smithing, tailoring, crafting, and researching. And otherwise is jealous. It's degrading to have a less impressive bedroom than someone else. In this case, it's Klaus. <laughs> she gets a mood loss if any colonist has a more impressive bedroom. Let's speak of that. Right now, Klaus and Sangria have a bedroom better. That's probably the best bedroom of the, of the map. So getting a constant negative eight. Although, because of the green thumb that we'll get into in a moment, we have plus 20 from soaked plants. So that's going to definitely offset about any negatives there. So we've got trigger happy. Pew, pew, pew. Manuela just likes to pull the trigger and can't shoot with a darn to offset it. <laughs> um, she shoots faster than others, but less accurately. So probably isn't going to be involved in any wars coming up soon. Um, otherwise, we've got Green Thumb, so his passion for gardening gets a mood bonus for every plant grown. So that is a huge, huge boom there. That helps out a lot. So that is Manuela, and I'm thinking to offset the jealousy, we need to take probably a double room, double occupancy room, and make that her room. So not just going to get better furniture, but also get more space. So it's either this one or we head into something else and get started on that, but this is gonna be the easiest one to get into for now. Though, I, well, other than eliminating these uh, stockpiles, let's not worry too much about that just yet, though I may as well set this for haul and get them out of here. Okay, so beyond that, let's talk about blue guys over here. 
do we want to disturb the Erythotna People's Federation? Make them our enemies and have more attacks come in from them. If we're going to have anybody attack us, I would say it would be them. They're not as strong as pirates. And they're more recruitable than tribals. The culture difference isn't as extreme. So they're the ones you really want to be your enemy if your goal is to recruit. And ours kind of is. So there's a plus going on there. You know, pros and cons. Is there anybody here that we want? Uh, Pickles, who are you? Pickles is male, age 36. And is a psychopath, an optimistic psychopath. Oh boy. <laughs> with chemical fascinations um, incapable of intellectual and art which is fine can shoot and a social pariah and a vagabond um, crafting is good construction is good animals are good that's a definite possibility that's a character that I wouldn't mind having here in the colony of course we gotta keep pickles alive long enough to arrest them Kit, who are you? Kit is a female villager of the Erythotna People's Federation, age 34. Not too good at, at fighting. A lot of things that she cannot do. Though, does work with animals and medicine. And can intellect. Okay. Not impossible. Um, doesn't like guys and is a night owl. Okay. Grill. Hmm. Who's Grill? Grill male, 40. Medicine, animals, some social, so another warden, art, and can craft. Um, lazy and trigger happy, but doesn't shoot anyway. So we're not bringing in, except for pickles, not bringing in any more military in a sense, any more uh, um, the ability to defend ourselves. But other skills would be beneficial. So if we were to do this, how would we do this? We basically tell all of our melee brute squad to go over there and arrest them, I'm thinking. Who's armed? So we know Pickles can shoot. Gear, Pickles has a steel gladius. Pickles can melee too, right? No, it cannot. Okay. Kit, you've got an auto pistol and can't really use it. If we get up right next to you, you won't be able, you won't use it. You'll use your fist. Grill. You have got a long wooden sword and don't really know how to use it. This is possible. I mean, yeah, there's a there's a gladius here. Poor, but no skill behind it. Hmm. This is possible. It's not something that I normally do. I normally don't go pick fights. I, I just, you know, end them. But uh, if there was one to pick, that one has some value to it. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, Klaus, why don't you go do your thing, trading with reindeer. And I asked Miss P, are you still doing it? To go hunt the mega sloth. Sangria was out yesterday, bloodying up our whole field here, and almost got the job done and must have taken off to, to go play chess or something and never got back to it. <laughs> so, Miss P, you deal with that. Klaus, you are... Going up the back way. Okay. We did get that sealed, though. Good. And we're sealed here, and we're sealed there, and we're sealed there, and there. There's there's a lot of resistance toward getting to this area. So it's not that big of a danger unless they drop pot in on us. Um, glancing down at my notes. I don't see anything else we haven't talked about. Hmm. Probably should get to this one really soon. Or that's the place that the next grenadier coming in is going to want to blow up and walk right in and skip the 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 uh, gauntlet completely. David, what are you doing right now? You are viewing Arth and you're hauling marble blocks to wall. I don't know what wall that is. Your needs, your joy's not that bad, but I can't really get you to, to bypass that without bypassing this. I'm curious what. Oh oh, that marble wall. Yeah, I remember that now. I did set that last night. Okay, I remember seeing that just as I was ready to turn off, thinking, you know, that's our weak spot right now. That one square right there. Once we 
hit the rest of the mining right here. So good. That's that's going to be fine. I just have to make sure that he gets in there and actually builds that spot. So we don't pull another one of of these. <laughs> okay, you guys have got your little wooden sword out and your auto pistol and your, your scary steel gladius. Hmm. Here we go. Klaus got a hold of Reindeer the Slaver. 1,081 silver. And they buy animals. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how far a thousand is going to go. They have <laughs> Labrador Retrievers to sell us. <laughs> um, no. And they've got pemmican and, and really expensive herbal medicines. And that's it. Okay. They don't get into meals. They don't get into all of the cloths or any of that. They don't get into weapons. Okay. Well, it looks like we're just going to sell them some stuff. So how best to do this? Let's get rid of all the youngest ones that have not been trained yet. So wild boar, boomalope calf, yes, both of those. Uh, Charlotte, female, zero, retriever, zeros, all the zeros, watching the thousand go away really fast. Boy, a calf, zero, sure, a wild boar, let's stop there. There's zero wild boars, these wild boars stay. So now we're into a muffalo calf. Big eater. Now we're hmm, seven tenths done. Um, do we do the, yeah, we got boom lopes gone. Okay. Any other calves that are important before we get into it looks like a bunch of puppies. Um, if it wasn't for the puppies, what would it be? I'm seeing five boom lopes right now. 164, we got our adult dogs, we've got cow, okay, alpacas, okay, back over here, this group here, so wild boars, we're keeping all those, those I believe are all the trained ones, we've got to keep Hachiko, we have gotten rid of the muffalo calf, so I guess we are at our puppies so let's go that route for two well that's about all we're gonna get and not go over I mean, we can give them once more and just take that last little bit of silver out of them the last 50 and you know give them a good deal but have one less mouth to, to feed ripple trudy poppy vance dominica mohawk um corazon these are all 127s harvey and huck well, I guess we just kind of pick one. Anything else? Sienna, Isabel, Anastasia, bowl two, male zero. Hmm. That's different from the bowls, the bowl down here, right? Bowl and cow. Okay. So there must be a calf, or it must be a juvenile. There's two of them. Oh, okay. Well. We'll let these grow up then and take the meat. So with that, I think that's all that I'm going to get out of this. And we're going to give them some at that. Anything we want to take back? Well, it just means one more mouth to feed. Um, these right here are, well, one, two, three. So these must be the piglets. And we've kept what I'm guessing are the juveniles, 81s. I think that's as far as we can go. Too bad they didn't have more silver on them. All right, except, and we're paying too much. That's okay. So with that, we're done there. Um, oh, these are all of the all of their animals now. Okay. So yep, got the all the puppies and the mediums going in. You are wild boar fifty five. You just have me move in that direction. Nope, you're part of the accordamino now. Okay. So you're going up there. Who's leaving this area? Calf. Cordomino. Uh, Boomalo calves over there. Uh, Miss P, you done? No. What's wrong? Now you want to haul wood. Why do you want to haul wood? Needs. You're okay for a while yet. Your joy is really crashing though. Um, and you're aiming for there. Maybe I better leave you alone and let you... Why were you wanting to haul wood, though? Maybe there's something else stacked up already before I had you go and do that, and that was my mistake. Who else can do some real quick hunting? 
Who's up? Um, oh, I want all the planting done I can get done. In fact, I did... I talked about that last time. Um, work. I set everybody that I could to grow. So most everybody's going to be growing the next day or so to get as much of this planet as possible. Um, though if I do start a war right now, that kind of throws all that away. Because we know an attack's coming in soon. Who can go hunt a mega sloth? Just to do it. Kaya, what are you up to? You are hauling components to granite door. Let's give you some much needed practice. Right over there. Pop in here and go hunting, please. You can't. Really? Kaya, work. Where are you at? Why can't I see you? You're down there. Okay. Hunt is right there. You're at two on hunt. All right. You are marked for hunt. What just happened there? Okay, you're over here. And right click. Now I can click you. That was weird. Okay. So you're going to do that. Um, do we go after these guys? If we do, where do we do it? If they just suddenly leave, they're probably going to dive out here faster than we can run. So we got to kind of do it now. Do we want a war in the middle of our batteries? That's not a great idea. Um, <laughs> and Kit's the only one, is the one that we need to go after first, so we're face to face right when the attack hits. I think so. The other ones, well, we need to have someone next to each of them so that they, they're, they're hand to hand, they're, they're, they're at touch distance. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking we want to give this a try. This is where I would love to hit save and go back if everything went home horribly wrong but let's yeah <laughs> I just know the next several episodes are going to be nothing but bloodshed and and no growing is going to get done and oh that's 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 a difficult thing to do what are you you are a squirrel that is debating whether or not you can take down a mega sloth because you're hungry right <laughs> mm. All right, let's let's do it. Let's do something stupid. Let's give it a try. Bill, you are consuming a fine meal, and then where are you at right now? Actually, uh, double click. You are on your way to consume. Okay, uh, needs because you're our chief melee skill. So let's draft you, have you consume a meal, and then go out here. Um, Eric, sleeping. You're going to have to get up for this. Though I can wait long enough for that meal to get done. Let's work through it this way. I don't want to use any guns if I can avoid it. Though I could overwhelm everybody with four or five surrounding each one thumping on them. Even if they don't have a lot of skill. So there is that. Tomislav is harvesting a rice plant. He's on his way. Let's have you grab a... Let's see. Draft. Grab a club and go here. I wonder if it gets suspicious if we suddenly all show up with clubs. Handy? Um, sure. Let's see. You're over here. Let's have you grab a club and <laughs> pop in over here. And rabbit your character melee four. Um, where are you at? You're right nearby. Let's go ahead and do that too. So, draft, you're going after this club and going out here. And Shantigo. Hmm, do I want to bother the ones that are making kibble and such? I might leave them out of this. Uh, character, melee of three. Let's say no there. Klaus, melee of eight though. You've got to get in on this. And not with your... Your AK-47 there. Let's get you... You're up there talking to those guys, right? Yeah. Any clubs up in here? You'd think that would be a possibility right there. Why don't you draft, come and grab this steel club, which is a little stronger than the granite one. Do a little better damage. And then meet us out over here. You have no rest in you, though. We're going to have to do this quick. You were ready to go to sleep as it was. Sangria... Zero melee. Kathra, four melee and some passion. 
uh, needs your food's hurt and you go grab a meal along with Bill so draft consume a meal and then grab a club and then hop out over here now we're running out of clubs were any clubs actually deposited in the wrong places down below nothing made it to here yet this is where they're supposed to be I would have thought that would have happened by now uh, right down in there is a club so who's down here Alicia perfect you've got good melee skills uh, we don't need food right now draft grab this club I'm gonna have to spend time getting guns back on all these people and go over here um, back to here Natalia uh, character has a four um, and could help pull this off okay so let's clubs right there so let's draft grab a granite club any more in here yeah two more in there too okay we have enough clubs I think to get just about everybody set to a an emergency melee brute squad here Michael you uh, needs are fine character only a three in in melee um, and you're cooking right now which is important meals hmm hmm you're fine otherwise all right let's do it you come on over draft and grab reserve by equip and pop into into here okay so miss p is done i think about that nope you are ready to break you're heading down into there i didn't really check that on the other ones so we have to go back on that and david's already equipped with a really good club <clears throat> and his rest is going to be needing it soon but oh and you were doing that job i really wanted you to do um and you're only a two at melee now but this would actually give you some skill um all right clear draft and pop into here and grandma melee of 10 whoa okay grandma gets the where you at needs you're there you're in the kitchen you're taking down the mega sloth let's draft you grab this last club actually there's time Let's get you out to grab one of these and then back over to here like so and we're actually spread out a little bit maybe by the time this happens these guys will wander back I hope that's the case and then who's left sea stars has got the gladius she's got she's the one I was kind of hoping to save one of these uh, clubs for because she's gonna slice and dice them um, is there one more over here she's in this area right right there so she can get by a little bit longer one club there that is it here did we use all three of these so draft and that one if I do one that I know has been grabbed reserved by okay this one is available so equip that one and then make your way over into this area as well Kaya has been dealt with Bill has been grandma David so Manuela needs just getting here and Mm, do I risk her already she's got a good mood decent enough uh, she has no weapon on and she's coming from this direction where'd she go already Manuela you've made it all the way into here how did you do that <laughs> I didn't know the game was I guess the game was running while I was waiting for Klaus to get up there um, but there are no more clubs in this area are there down in here yes there is well make your way into here and then make your way up into here and we'll just see if you get there in time faith could jump into this character has no does not fight okay have i hit everybody i think i have so now it's just a matter of waiting to see who shows up first hunter lacks weapon we're gonna get a lot of that Okay, all good. They're pulling out of the battery area. I needed that to happen. Pull into here. Don't you know nothing suspicious going on here. We're just having a, a melee uh, um, club meeting. That that's all. We just get together with our with our clubs and and uh, you know talk smack. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. All right, we're just kind of filing into here. Oh, this is nuts. We're going to have a war. Next episode, you just get ready. Okay, these guys hit in Missa P is not part of this. Sangria, I didn't get to you. Character, because you have no melee skill. That's right. Okay, so you're not. Otherwise, nobody's in a mood at the moment. Michael, what happened to you? You're here. Okay, so I decided not to do Shantigo. So, Natalia's heading in. Catherine's grabbing her club. We have Sea Stars yet, right? No not who's gonna grab that one miss a p if i had you do that it's not it it's not reserved by anybody okay so grandma miss p your character melee two i don't see the value of ramping up your melee abilities like that face down there i think we've got everybody except grill got inside oh Oh, where, where'd they go? I see one blue. Where's the other blues? Pull back. Pickles, they're over here in our kitchen. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, then... Let's see. Only a few of us have shields, which means the shield should probably go after Kit, who has the gun, auto pistol. Though I need some skill to go up against home. So Kit, remind me, character... Could not do anything. It was Pickles that had some skill. Pickles over here, but only skill at shooting, and you've got a Gladius. Hmm. So let's take down the Gladius well. Bill, oh, let's get that weapon off of you that rips arms off. Quickly swap that out. And then I'm thinking Bill is on his way, a Grill is on his way back into here. So, it's really kind of watching the other ones. Let's see where they're going to go. Heading up here, heading back. You're going up and around. I think we're all going to make it back into here again. That should give us... Oh, Bill, come on back over here. Thank you. And you're making your way up and through. Pickles, you are taking this route in. All right, so Kit's going over there. Who's going to go and... Say hello to Kit. Sea Stars, you still have a Gladius on. How did that happen? How did I not get a club onto you? Darn, didn't I ask you to grab the one that was over here? There? How did that not happen? Hmm. Okay, well, that's a problem. That is a problem. Who here has the least skill that can give up a club and, and uh, call it a day? Um, Manuela had a melee of three. Uh, we did not do Miss P, who was also was a two. Who else? Manuela may well be melee long term. So probably should let her have the experience. Tomislav. Natalia, where are you at? Right there. Four. Let's pull back one doctor. That does not get her head cut off or bashed in. So we have at least one doctor to get the other doctor back to the you know living again. Let's let's drop the club and sea stars, let's pick up the club. So we equip and Natalia doesn't haul. So I can't have you... I can have you equip the Gladius and then go in. Okay. Handy just gave up on me. She's, she's, she's gotten tired of this little game. All right. So with that, I'm looking for blue. Blue there. Blue up in here. Let's grab all of our people except for Natalia. So, okay. All, all of our people and draft again. There we go. So all the timers are restarted. Natalia, undraft. Let's get you out of here. Pickles is going down. Grill is wandering and waiting for Kit to come into the area. And not going directly into the area. Okay. Then I need... Let's see here. Let's go for Bill. I need you to try to arrest Kit. Can I have somebody else do that too? Or do I have to just have them floating in the area? Um, 
who would be another one to go up there and make sure that happens? I want to say it was Sea Stars. Where are you? I'm staring at all these little... There you are. If I do that, you're all ready. So all I can do is go here. Okay. So with that, as soon as... There. Sea Stars, you're going here. And Grill, Tomislav, Rabbit, Klaus. Klaus, you're going to try to arrest Grill. And Eric, where are you at? Why am I not seeing an Eric? Eric, you are... You went to bed? How did you miss out on all this? Did I go over... Did I... Oh, man. Eric needs... I thought I had brought you out here. Okay, well, um, quick, run. <laughs> Otherwise, just before... Right there, Klaus Grill, Bill, Kit, and... Kathra, David... Grandma, Michael, Manuela, um, Michael, <clears throat> you're going after the, uh, uh, the, the steel sword there. Try to arrest. And Handy, you go there. Kathra, dive into there. Uh, I need someone else to go assist over here. So, Grandma, Peg, no, Grandma's a bad back. Uh, David, David, you assist over here. All right, boom, and bad will. Because you captured, I did? Grill? I guess the first one's a freebie. Everybody else puts up a fight. Because you captured Grill, Air thought not People's Federation is now your enemy. Okay, so Grill has been captured. Pickles is putting up a fight. Kit is putting up a fight. And we're cornered here. So... Bill, it is... I can't get... Can I get Sea Stars over here? Is that even possible? I, okay, well, we're, we're side by side now. So that worked. So I need you to melee attack. I need everybody here to... Mm, to... Melee attack. Everybody here... I guess... Boy. What do we do with that? Tomislav... Zoom in here a little bit. I am zoomed in. Right there, Thomas. Uh, oh, it's so hard to get you sometimes. Melee attack. I think handy with your run speed. Run out here, see if you can assist from this side and melee attack. David, I want you to melee attack. Okay, downed. Now, what, what happens over here? And what happened over here? Grandma got thumped. Health. So, got a bruise, a crack, and a stab to the right little toe. Any more red? Kit. Uh, Bill's got some red. Got a bruise. And Kit over here. Combat. So Kit missed Bill with a clobber. Bill smashed Kit in the torso. Kit flailed with an auto pistol grip. Sea Stars missed Kit with a poke from a club. Bill stabbed Kit with his club's handle. Kit smashed Bill in the torso painfully. Bill missed while trying to stab Kit. Sea Stars hit Kit with a shove from her club, wounding her torso while wearing a blank look, and Kit stumbled. And that's where we are. Boom. So, stumbled Kit, stumbled while trying to smash Sea Stars. Bill stabbed Kit, prodding her torso while wearing a blank look. And we're still going. Um... David tried to smash Kit with his club, but missed. Sea Stars smashed Kit. Is Kit going to make it? Kit smashed Bill with her auto pistol grip, smashing his left leg while grimacing. And... Downed. I, I saw the X right there, the gun. And the, oh, no. Uh, Kit, wielding his club, skillfully, fiercely clobbered Kit in the left ear. And Kit crumpled thanks to a missing body part. No. This, was, was it the ear? Left ear has been destroyed. Bill is a destroyer of body parts, I tell you. And that's for the club, too. <laughs> um, what else we got here, though? Kit and health. What have we got? I saw a spine. So we got a cracked spine, but it's not damaged to the point. And head not damaged to the point of disrepair. So in here somewhere is a downed... We've got... So bruises and cracks and a stab scar to the torso. And we've got... Klaus somewhere bringing in um, Grill, who didn't get injured at all. Okay, well, with that, yep, we've just started a war. So, factions 
our negative little bit is now neg or a positive little bit is now a negative 80 hostile. Hmm. So maybe we will give back Kit, female, if that you know start chipping away 15 at a time. You know of, of the the characters that don't fit our subscriber list. We'll see. We'll, we'll figure that out. But. I think I'm going to leave it right here. I'm 45 minutes or so into this, and I've got a mess to clean up. I'll take them back and get them them healed and try to find everybody's weapon and get them back on them again. Figure out what job they were supposed to be doing, get them working on that, and maybe get a little bit through this day and get a few more projects done. Like, uh, oh, here's something else I did last night. Went through and rearranged the dining room, got that looking a little bit better. Little things like that. Maybe we'll get into this soon, get the door in and a vent into this, or at least get that sealed up and a roof on it. Then it doesn't matter what, what I do here. Then we start laying out our new uh, uh, poker and, and uh, pool tables and, and a seating area and all that fun stuff for a rec room. But with that, <laughs> the beginning of World War uh, Irathotna, well, uh, this has been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.